A documentary about Rhode Island State Police's four-legged finest, uh, four finest premieres tonight in Providence. Search Dog has already been shown and awarded at film festivals across the country. I would Susan Porter, Michaela McDonald, talk with the Rhode Island State Police today. She joins us with a story that's new at 6. The screening begins at 7.30, and for some of those featured in this film, it's exciting to have it playing in their home state. It's a documentary five years in the making. Search Dog follows the story of Rhode Island State Police canines, focusing on Sergeant Matthew Zarella, who rehabilitates shelter dogs deemed unadoptable and transforms them into search and rescue dogs. She had two hours to live at the time I arrived. He started this program with the state police to uh, bring in rescue dogs into uh, police work and train them from basically pound dogs to uh, to become, you know, fine-tuned uh, search and rescue machines. Corporal Scott Carlston is the Rhode Island State Police Canine Coordinator. He and his previous canine, Bear, were featured in Search Dog as well. Carlston says the film focuses on two search and rescue dogs who were rescued themselves. They continue to succeed as police canines. The two canines that are in the film, um, ended up going out and finding this 19-year-old uh, that had been out in the woods for over two days and uh, was found semi-conscious in the woods. And the, these dogs that were rescued um, ended up saving this 19-year-old's this, uh, life. So. The filmmakers were allowed access to the state police missing person searches. Carlston says Search Dog lets the public see what these dogs do and how important they are to police work. Seeing what we do on a daily basis, you know, kind of shown to the public, it helps you know, bridge the gap between the public and, and police, which these days is very essential to, uh, to bring us together. And if you can't make it to the screening tonight, the director tells us they are planning more screenings in Rhode Island and in New England. We'll have information for you on WPRI.com. Michaela McDonald, Eyewitness News.